Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the compression bone plate for static structure analysis. We will start by double clicking on static structural. First, we will go to engineering data. Now, in this version that I am using, 18.1, the material that I am going to use for the analysis, that is stainless steel 316, this grade is not available. So I will have to create the material and then use it. If you use the latest version, then in Answers Granter Materials, I can show you in the previous video, you will find the material of 316 stainless steel. So since I don't have it, so since I don't have it in this version of Answers, so I just create the material. First, we'll give the density as a property. The value of density is 8.07 gram per centimeter cube. So, I have converted it to kg per meter cube. Next, I'm going to give the isotropic elasticity. The value of Young's modulus is 205 gigapascal. So, it is 205 E9 pascals. Poison's ratio value is 0 0.275. Apart from these, I am also going to give the value of compressive yield strength. The value is 310. It is 310 mega pascal. So it is 310 E6 pascal. Next, I'll go to project and update project. Now, I'll go to geometry and right click. Since I've already made the geometry, I'll import it. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I first go to geometry and change the material of the compression board plate to stainless steel 316. Next, I'll go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. Then, I'll go to static structural and insert fixed support. Now, as you're aware, these holes are the places where we are going to fix the screw. So, these are the fixed ends. So, I just select these circles. And apply. As you are aware of the function of the compression bone plate, if this is the side where the bone is going to lie and this is the plate fixed on it, the screws will be attached on the other end. So I am going to apply I'll apply force on this face where the compression is going to be exerted. This is the side where the bone is. So, I am going to apply in the component form. Along the y axis, I am going to apply a load. Now, for calculation of load, there is a particular technique that is used. Suppose if I assume that the mass of the patient who is going to use this plate on his bone is say 70 kgs, so it is roughly 10% of the weight of the patient. So the weight will now be 70 into 10, which will make it to 700 newton, and 10% will be 70 newton. So I'm going to apply 70 newton on this body. So this is how you apply the load. Now this load is going to vary based on the patient who is using it. 
This is a static compressive load that I am applying on the bone plate. This could be taken into dynamic and you can also analyze it that way. Now I will go to solution and apply deformation total. I also want to see the deformation directional along the y axis. Next, I'll insert strain equivalent. I'll insert stress equivalent. I'll go to tools and insert stress tool so that I can see the factor of safety of the body. Then I'll go to solution and solve. Okay, so it is asking for the yield strength. For that, I will go to engineering data and I haven't given the tensile yield strength. The value of tensile yield strength is 620 megapascal. I will go to project and update project. Since this data is the required value, you can see here all the solutions have been obtained. So, I will come back to the solution, I will go to total deformation. You can just animate and check the result. The maximum value of deformation is 8.949 into 10 to minus 5 mm. Next, we will see the directional deformation. The value is minus. 9.75 into 10 to minus 6 mm. Again, this is a very small value of deformation obtained. You can just animate and check the result. Next, we will see the equivalent stress first. You can see here the zone is where the stress is maximum, and on the holes is where it is more. The maximum value of stress is 2.28 megapascal. You can animate and check this result as well. You can see these are the zones where the stress is generated. Next, we will go for the equivalent elastic strain. The value of strain is 1.1185 in 10 to minus 5. That's the maximum value. Again, it is generated in these zones of the hole and the surrounding area. Also, you can animate and see this result. Next is the factor of safety. It is showing maximum value of 15, which means our plate is going to be completely safe under this loading. This load that I have applied is actually very less. It is only minus 70 newton, and this is based on the weight of the patient. Now, suppose if the patient is of 100 kgs, this will also be minus 100 newton, as per the calculation I told you. You can just solve once again and check the result. I am interested in seeing the total deformation, which is again very less, 0 0.00127 mm. It's a very low value as you can see. Directional deformation is also seen here. These values will be little higher as compared to the previous solution. The reason is we have increased the force applied on the plate. If you check the stress, it is 3.26 megapascal. But the material is stainless steel, if you understand. It is another grade of steel which is used for this kind of application. The reason being it is more inert and it is going to show better results of strength. But it is ultimately steel, which means the value of steel stress and ultimate stress of the body is going to be quite high. And this value which we are obtaining through this analysis is much, much lesser. It is is just 3.26 megapascal, which is a very small value, and generally the value of tensile strength is quite high. You have seen what we have applied, it is 620 or 310 megapascal in compression, which we have applied, and we are just getting very small values when we apply a load of 100 newton. You can check the factor of safety, and it's still showing 15. So in this way, you can analyze these compression plate bones with the help of static structure analysis to know what would be the effect of the compressive load on this plate. 
again i am repeating that this analysis is of static compression type this is not dynamic one generally these plates show dynamic loading because the body is going to move of the patient he is not going to be stationary so once he moves it is possible that more compressive load is applied on the plate so accordingly also you can get some results but for that this analysis won't work this is only showing you the results for static structural analysis so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you